I'm going to be a sophomore at the Dalton School. For my main project at Blue Stamp, I'm making a voice-activated LED matrix. For my last milestone, I just had the voice control ready, but right now I have the LED matrix. So I'm just going to show you the, what I've done, the patterns that I made so far. Okay, so this is just purple. I have an, a bunch of different colors. Right now, this is turning on blue and red of the cathodes. Um, I also have different stripe patterns. So this is blue and green. And I have a lot of different patterns, but I'm just gonna show you one more. And this one, as you can see, moves. So that's that. Um, I'm just gonna turn it off. So, um, in order, because obviously I have a lot of wires, in order to only use three pins on my Arduino, I had to incorporate shift registers. Shift registers shift out a byte of data bit by bit. Um, so, I, the second pin is called the clock pin, and every time that it is pulsed, a bit is passed down and to the register. So, um, once all the 8 bits have been transmitted to the registers, um, each bit is read, the data that it is sent has been read, and then it will tell the output pins that it is connected to to turn on or off. Um, the, so you can either say that it's high or low. I connected three shift registers together, one for each color cathode. Um, on, for the anodes, which is the other lead that I, that or on RGB LEDs. I connected them to eight transistors, which is here. So they will be used as a switch. Um, the anodes are in eight groups, just like the pins are in eight groups. So I can control a column. If I turn on one trans if I turn on one anode group, then one column will turn on. And depending on the colors of, that are sent that have been turned on by the other shift registers, it will turn on red, blue, or green, or whatever color. So far, I can control the colors of the LEDs by sending them strings of binary. If it's zero, then that means it's on, so it'll tell the output pin to turn high. And that means that it will turn whatever color that the shift register is connected to. Um, if it's one, then it'll turn off and it'll let the other colors, the other shift register colors turn on. But you can also share, so you can say that red, blue, and green are turned on, so that will make it white. Um, there are a bunch of different color combinations that I have, and this wasn't the easiest thing that I've ever done. There were a lot of times where I had to rewire the entire thing over and over again because maybe this the first time I needed to use resistors and in a different way than I had already had them the second way it wasn't even, second time it wasn't even getting power and they continuously kept popping out from ev everywhere and so I had to rewire a lot of times but now I finally have it done and so I'm really happy about it